Hey everyone, Matt Dollinger here for SI.com. The only thing dumber than Lance Stevenson talking trash to LeBron James is T.I. trying to throw a punch at Floyd Mayweather. What's next, Lance? Beehive pinata? Taunting bears? Offering to play five on one in game four? Where does it end? Before the Eastern Conference Finals, I said Lance Stevenson would be the Pacers' best player against the Heat if he could keep his emotions in check. That claim was proven with his huge performance in Game 1, where he kept things under control and still starred. But unfortunately for Indiana, it was validated in Game 3, when he talked trash to a certain someone and saw the Pacers blow a big lead. When's the last time you saw LeBron that fired up? His headbandless game against the Spurs in last year's Finals? Maybe his fourth quarter takeover against the Pistons when he was still a Cavalier? That's exactly my point. Lance fired up LeBron. Stevenson's basketball bravado helped Indiana win game one and almost steal game two, but then it became Indiana's undoing. Lance said something stupid or did something to fire up the heat, and LeBron activated God mode and started playing like NBA fans always wish he would, asserting his dominance, imposing his will, taking over the game on both ends of the floor. Stevenson's lack of fear of players like LeBron and Dwayne Wade is in part what makes him so special. He backs down to no one and from nothing. That's a great thing when you're driving the hoop and challenging players. It's not so great when you can't bite your lip against the two-time defending champs and the world's greatest player. Stevenson said he sees LeBron's trash talking as a sign of weakness. I see it the other way. Stevenson has gone through a remarkable evolution the past couple of years, maturing as a person and a player. Remember when he was the center of attention two years ago for doing a choke sign to LeBron when he was a bench warmer? Now he's on the floor, holding his own, and challenging that same player in the fourth quarter. The Pacers are good enough to beat the Heat, and once held the lead in this series, but they should have claimed an even bigger advantage and be on the brink of the finals right now. Instead, they're down 1-2 with two of the next three games in South Beach. Indiana had the East Finals in its hands, and then let its mouth get in the way. For SI.com, I'm Matt Dollinger.